Hello, my name is Troy Gray. I'm the director of Spindletop Gladys City Boomtown Museum in Beaumont, Texas. Today, we are standing in the general store, and every Friday, we have been taking a trip around uh, one of the buildings, talking about an object. I think I have a good one today. Last week, we missed. I was on vacation and a couple other things. But today, we want to talk about right there, Lion Coffee. And Lion Coffee is one of the oldest trademarks in the USA, registered in 19, or sorry, 1864 by the original owner, C.C. Warren of Toledo, Ohio. Warren began roasting coffee in a friend's barn, but the barn burned down because of, uh, Mr. Warren lacked roasting experience. Undaunted, he f found less flammable housing to fancy roast his premium coffee, coffee beans and Lion Coffee became one of the first roasted pre-weighed coffees in America. Elvin Mansfield Wilson was a veteran of the C Civil War, a Pony Express station master and owner of the Wilson Spice Company. Wilson purchased Lion Coffee and embarked on turning Lion into a household name and premium coffee brand. He pioneered packing coffee in sealed one pound tin containers, bringing new standards of freshness and quality to the cus customer. All Lion Coffee came with a guarantee of satisfaction unprecedented in that era. Lion Coffee flourished. W Wilson began running promotions where consumers could redeem lion heads for whimsical gifts, such as paper dolls, trading cards, educational games, and popular sheet music. So much mail was received in response to the lion head promotion that r rather than count the pieces, the post office decided to weigh them, creating the first bulk mail in U.S. history. News of Lion's Coffee's quality cup that cheers spread quickly. By the mid-1890s, the company roasted a million pounds a week and had become the second largest coffee roaster in the world. Unfortunately, a sell-off of the company's assets occurs in the 1950s and it lays dormant until Jim Delano resurrects the brand and logo. Uh, in 1979, Lion moved to Hawaii to focus on the only beans grown in America, and it didn't take long before Lion Coffee became Hawaii's favorite coffee brand. It is also the official coffee of Hawaiian Airlines. Lion uh, shared some of their coffee with us a few years ago for one of our events. So uh, they are kind of our heroes and uh, just shouts out to Lion Coffee. Uh, you can actually buy it online. So you can find it and buy it online. So that's kind of cool. So it's kind of cool that we have that poster and that. Um, we have a lot going on. Um, so, uh, of course, in September, uh, we're, uh, we're going to, September 11th, we have two classes, the um, wood carving class at $40, and the we still have seats for our um, for our bladesmith class, that's $150, uh, but I think we have two more, uh, two more uh, places, so uh, call today. Also, September 26th is another special day. Two things are happening there as well. Uh, we have the closing of our art exhibit. If you haven't seen the Southeast Texas historical art exhibit, is in our Caroline room. Come in and see it. It's really cool because it's uh, art from around, uh, for, from artists for, uh, from around Southeast Texas. And there's three pieces of art that you could actually bid on uh, on a silent auction. And uh, these you can take home. Uh, with you uh, if you are the winner of the auction. So that's kind of cool. Also on that same day, September 26th, we'll have our first um, uh, open mic family picnic night. That's from four to six on that Sunday. And we're gonna do that every other week from September 26th, kind of cool. Um, we're also gonna be part of a uh, joint thing that all the museums in Beaumont are doing called Museum Madness. That's in October. And we'll have an event on that um, Friday night, October 22nd, and another event on October 24th. A lot of really great things happening. Uh, so uh, 
come um, out see us there's also a lot of uh, repairs that we're doing out here so just understand that we're trying to make things better and uh, just thank you for being with us today uh, I'll talk to you next week